Just a quick video update about Crane Mod. Anybody who hasn't seen my videos doesn't know about the project. It's a seven part Crane series I've got on Amazon Prime. Yesterday I went to Glasgow to see a, a, a sort of studio space that's got clubs in it and it's got a, a, a kind of TV studio in it. And you know, the idea of uh, episode one in season two is the two characters are after a club. That's the foundation, that's the sort of base, that's the sort of nightclub. Um, so I really wanted a place that I could control because there's a lot of crazy shit going to happen at. So I went to this place yesterday, looked around, and uh, it was absolutely perfect. You know, it's, uh, it's got, it looks like a club. You know, you can do controlled stuff there. It's also got a TV studio next door and photography, everything under the one roof, really. So the two or three day shoot for episode one, season two, I could do the whole thing there. It'd be perfect. But when I was standing there yesterday and I looked at it, you know, and I'm working it in my head and okay, how am I gonna get this funded? Because I can't fund, uh, you know, season two, I funded the first one. And I looked around and I thought, this has to go to another level. I don't want to continue making things for a grand here and a grand there. It has to go to another level. I don't mean millions, because that's when you just stagnate things again. I mean, it still needs, you know, 50,000 for a whole season, 100,000, it still needs. Um, so I thought, okay, can I get there then? Can I, you know, I'm not going to raise 50,000. I'd done a campaign last year and the year before and I went too high and killed it. You know, I, I don't have the audience for that. You know, it was about three years ago, the last campaign for a couple of, couple of thousand. So I went, okay, can I try and raise, uh, you know, I think I could raise a few thousand for the first episode and can I raise, uh, maybe try and keep it going each month, like a Patreon style, which I tried before and I failed and I learned a lot from that. You know, and I went, no, because I don't want to be one of these people that is established is just constantly on there for money. I really don't, it's still, everybody's got their own way, you know, but I've got to stick to my way, what I've learned and the mistakes that I've got to learn from over the years, you know. And the one thing I've learned over the years is, you know, watching the ones that are successful, um, watching how other people do it and watch how other people build audiences, engagement is, you know, YouTubers that are building over the years and podcasters and guys like Gary Vaynerchuk. And the one overwhelming theme that comes, and it's so obvious and already know it, is giving. You've got to give. You've got to give stuff out there. You've got to give interesting content for years. You know, one th example I learned on Patreon that I learned when I set up was a total disaster. <laughs> and I'd realised why. You know, I'd realised so obvious now, you know. The, you go on Patreon, you see people raising, you know, small amounts of money, but you see some that are raising 5,000 a month, some are raising 20,000 a month, some are raising 100,000 a month, and they go, bloody hell, how are they doing that? You go to the subscribers, and they've been on YouTube for eight years, and they've got millions of subscribers, or hundreds of thousands, and they've got a podcast show they've been doing for 10 years, and they've got 500,000 people. So if you even take a small per percentage of millions of people, or hundreds of thousands of people, and you take 1%, and they'll say 5,000 people given a dollar, you know, a month, you know, or they're given five dollars. You get any serious numbers though, but it's serious numbers that you need that as a real audience that you've got, subscribers. I'm not talking about people following you Twitter, I'm talking about real subscribers, real engaged supporters and fans that then converts to monthly large amounts of money. So that's when I learned that, no, I don't have that. I don't have that sort of audience yet. I haven't been giving it content enough for years. I've been making feature films and whatever, but that's different from being a YouTuber that gives content every single day that's really engaging with people. You know, and I follow guys like Gary Vaynerchuk who gives, that man gives an incredible amount of content for free for years and years and years and he's been doing it, you know, from Wine Library TV, doing a podcast, doing a video show on a camera for 10 years, whatever. So, you know, as a filmmaker, it's a reality check and it's, uh, it's, it's one uh, new step that I want to take, a new approach I want to take and a new, to make things fun as well. I want to put out content, but I want to put out content that's giving value and I want to do it for years and years and years. I think then you could then go to people that really get something from me and say, look, I'm launching this thing, are you interested? I'm launching this t-shirt range, I'm launching this series, I'm launching this. And that type of content on phones, IGTV, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you can create this sort of content every other day free and cheaply, you know, to build an audience. And that's what I haven't been doing good enough for years. And many is, you know, just me, I'm, just, I'm not going to bark myself over it. I'm not going to torture myself too much about it because it's like most people, I'd say it's 99% of the people online don't give, you know. You've got to give to get back. So. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do with Crime Lord, I've got a season out there. I'm going to, you know, drip out and promote that, you know, go on with other things. You know, I'm not going to be as hardcore with it. I'm going to be out, you know, because I don't want to blast it for years. But I'll go out there, I'll post my stuff out there, occasionally update about it, do podcasts about it, 
do a, my keep my my GTV channel and Instagram about it. You know, get it out there, get the novel finished over the next few weeks, get the novel version out there on Amazon, see if it can help to grow there, and look at it every six months. You know, you get to a point as well with yourself that I'm I'm better than this. I'm not going to. When I was in that club yesterday, it's like, yeah, this would be really cool, do it this way and can do this and do that. And it's like, God, the money's gone up, the money's gone up. And this, hey, I'm a no-budget filmmaker, but to do things better and to do them really good, you know, you want to take an, a level each time. So it's like, I'm going to need money for this, you know. Um, you know, even if it's a, for the whole season, if it's 50,000, 100,000, there's no way I'm going to raise that at the moment. So it's going to take a bit more time. You know, I still believe in it 100%. If I had the money, bang, I'd be shooting. It's all about the money. It's all about the cash. You know, so you can't cripple yourself. You can't, you can't cripple yourself because you're still in the permission business. I don't like to get in that zone where you need permission all the time. You know, it's like, I can't make it unless I've got this or that. I would rather just go out there and grow, you know, give stuff out there and try and grow an audience over years of potential supporters and collaborators and kindred spirits way and people that are into it and believe in you you know i don't want to be a getting a frustrated uh, getting in this frustrated way because it's permission that you need i would rather just go like that build it slowly move on to other things take a 360 approach you know i'll probably do shots and some features at weekends and and make other work and try for some freelance work well, I've got that at the side and try and build over the years. Anyway, that's my new approach with Crime Lords. So thanks very much for everybody who's been involved with the project. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.